Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we're going to be making a super easy artisan bread recipe. So I actually saw this on TikTok. This is what it looks like and it's Savannah McKenzie and it looks so, so delicious. I have never made bread before and I was planning on making sourdough but I get really nervous before I've made something for the first time and so I just thought it would be a lot easier just to make bread in a way that's super easy because I feel like sourdough is a lot more involved and it takes a lot of days and so we're just gonna make this. It's my first time making bread like I said. I'm super excited because it looks so good and I got this. I showed this in one of my recent videos but this is a kitchen mixer bowl but it's also a bread bowl it came with a lid and basically you flip the lid upside down and then you flip this on top of it and it's like kind of like creates a dutch oven effect you can put it in the oven like that so that's what i'm going to be using but i'm going to use this to mix everything first so this is a super easy recipe you only need four ingredients the only ingredients that you need for this is all-purpose flour salt instant yeast and then water warm water so we're gonna start with our flour and please look at this huge huge flour thing it's 10 pounds and i actually got this from a walmart order the other day and i did a grocery pickup order so i didn't realize how big this was but it was the only one they had that didn't have the smaller one <laughs> it's so heavy but anyway i got that in case i needed more flour because i'm planning on doing a lot of baking this next week. So we're gonna do our flour first. So we have three cups of flour. The best way to measure your flour, if you haven't watched any of my videos, is to get your cup and fill it up with the flour and then you take a butter knife and you basically just like swipe it over the top. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing, but you this would be better if I had like a container that my flour was in, but you swipe it over the top. And then we have our one cup. Okay, so we have our three cups of flour. Next, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt and I'm just using kosher salt. Next is half of a teaspoon of active dry yeast. I got this kind from Aldi. It's kind of unfortunate how they package this because I don't think it's like perfectly a measurement. So we're just gonna measure it out of the little packet, half of a teaspoon. that much and then we just have one and a half cups of warm water I have it in the microwave so I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up and then we'll add it to our mixture next it says to stir with a wooden spoon don't need the bread and we're just gonna stir it until it's all mixed together so I'll show you where you can see what mine looks like and it says that it should be dry and not sticky if it is sticky add one fourth cup of flour mine is a little sticky so I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of flour and then see how that does Okay, I'm filling it now and I think that this is better. Let me scrape off our spoon and then I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. Okay, here's what our dough mixture looks like and it smells really good actually. It smells like bread already. But now comes the sad part. 
I have to cover it with some plastic wrap and then we have to wait. It says 12 to 24 hours. I'm probably going to do somewhere around 20 hours or so at room temp and you just leave it out covered overnight and then I'll pick back up tomorrow and we will bake the bread. So let me get my plastic wrap. So I'm just going to cover this loosely with this plastic wrap, just saran wrap and then we will set it out overnight. So we have our plastic wrap on. Now I'm just going to set it out and I'm going to set it over by our kitchen and mixer and then we will see what it looks like in 24 hours. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day and I've already got our oven preheating to 450 degrees and I'm going to show you guys what the bread looks like. So here's our dough. It has probably Maybe like doubled in size. I can't quite remember what it looked like last time. The recipe says to put your Dutch oven in the oven while it's preheating. But since this bowl is what I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and get the dough out of the bowl and then put the bowl in the oven. And I might have to like kind of scrape it out a little bit because it'll have like some remnants of the dough on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and flour our surface. And then we're basically gonna take the sides of the dough and pinch it into a ball turn it over to where like the seam side is down. And then I'm going to attempt to score it. I have this scoring tool, I think it's called a bread lame, and I've never used it, but this is what it looks like. So we're gonna try and do that. We're gonna try our best. I just watched a quick video on how to score your bread and I definitely probably butchered it but also I saw this is called a bread lamb, not a bread lamb. So we're gonna let this sit out on the counter for about 20 more minutes. It said let it sit for 30 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for 20 more minutes and then we're gonna put it in our kitchen and mixer bowl and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then we'll go ahead and bake it. Okay, I wasn't timing it, so I'm not quite sure how long it's been, but I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and that's the lid on the bottom just flipped upside down. So I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom, and then we're going to put our bread inside and then put it back in the oven. So now we're gonna cook our bread for 30 minutes. It's on 450 degrees. After 30 minutes, we're gonna take it out and take the top off. And if you had a Dutch oven, you would just take the top off of the Dutch oven. Let the top of the bread get crispy for about 10 to 15 more minutes, just depending on how you like it. The timer just went off, so I'm gonna get it out of the oven and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I will say it's kind of hard to get this out. I'm so scared that I'm gonna drop it or burn myself. Okay, 
Okay, here's what it looks like. I think I may have scored it too much. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Um, I feel like it is looking okay, but we're gonna put it back in the oven for 15 more minutes, just like this on top of the lid. It's time to get our bread out of the oven. I'm a little nervous, but you know, I can't expect much from myself since it's only the first time ever that I have made bread. Okay, I don't think it's bad. I think the top of it maybe is a little burnt because I scored it too much, but let me show you what it looks like. So here's what we're looking at. And like I said, I think maybe I just dug the bread lom way too far in and that's why that kind of like baked upward right there. And then that got a little bit too crusted. But overall, I feel like it looks pretty good. And before we cut into it, we have to wait, I think it said like 15 minutes or so. Cause I think the bread's still like kind of cooking right now, just inside of it. So we're gonna wait another 15 minutes and then I'll cut it open and show you guys what it looks like. The time has come, we are gonna cut our bread now. Wow, I'm so shocked. It looks really good on the inside. I am shocked. I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of steam still coming from it. it. Probably could have stood to rest a little bit longer, but I have to go somewhere. So let me cut another little piece. I'm gonna cut it from this side. To try, of course. Okay, arguably the most important part of any, can you see that steam coming out? Of any baking journey is the taste. So, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. That's really good. It honestly kind of tastes like sourdough. And like, obviously this isn't sourdough because I didn't have a starter, but it kind of has that sour flavor and it's really good. I think this would be really good if you made it with garlic and rosemary too. I'm so shocked. If you've never made bread, you need to make this recipe because it was so easy and turned out so good. And I feel like if I hadn't scored it like I did, if I had just done the little like leaf design instead of doing like one big score in it, I feel like it would have turned out so pretty too. I would count this as a win for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's gonna be the end of this one, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you've never made bread, maybe you'll be inspired to make bread after this video. Even if you're nervous like I was, this is just so easy. Obviously it kind of takes a while with just a lot of waiting, but super easy recipe. I mean, total probably only took me like 30 minutes to make this. I will put the ingredients down below as well as the TikTok that I used. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so appreciative of you being here. Go ahead and like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.